Hey guys, so we're going to do some low spot felons on this lawn. Can't really see these easily on the camera, but what happened is when I originally rolled this area out, I didn't grade it exactly right, and lots of lawns have divots and impressions, but the difference for this video today is that if you've ever tried to level out a lawn, and especially if you've got pretty good grass already, it's really difficult to do. So I'm going to show you a new tool that makes it pretty easy. They use them on golf courses and it really saves time and it ends up leveling it much better than you can do by hand. First we're going to do is get some dirt. Put our gloves back here. I got my helper. Here's all the dirt. You have to put a lot of dirt in here. That's how much there is. Don't get too close, okay? That's a lot. You got the dirt? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go. All right, so now we got our dirt in the back of the little Kubota here. So the next thing I'm gonna do, because I have a bunch of small divots, my little helper here is gonna put these flags in the ground so that we can ma mark where the divots are. Yeah, put one right there. Doesn't have to go in real far. Kind of weird. It's kind of right, hang on. Yep, so all the flags are gonna do is just help me guide where I put the dirt when I'm bringing it out and dumping it. All right, flags are out, the dirt spread. You can see these piles here. If you leave it like this, you're gonna kill the grass. So now we're gonna use that tool and see what kind of a job it does. You can do this with a regular rake, and I'm sure many of you are thinking that's how you normally do it. It just does not get it as even, and that's why the golf courses use that flat rake, because it just does a great job of spreading it out, and it's very quick. Let's see it. you'll see that a lot, of, um, a lot of roots and rocks get pulled to the surface. So when you use the rake, it grabs anything sharp, and if you look close, you can see all those rocks, little roots and twigs and bits of weeds that were in the dirt. This is actually good though, because what it does is it brings them up to the surface and then they're really easy to grab afterwards. When normally when you rake, you're just gonna have everything get sunk right in the dirt, which isn't really the point of adding this topsoil to level out areas. So now that this is done, I'll water it in a little bit and we're all set. Give a few other close-ups of this tool. 
So a couple things that are different. Obviously the end of this tool is very unique. It's flat on one side, has these rib sides on the other. What it does is it pulls up rocks, stones, roots as you push back and forth. And because it's 36 inches wide, it does a really great job leveling to the surrounding areas. Other thing that's a little bit different is you can see how long this handle is. It's about six feet long, where usually most tools are around five. So that really lets you step back and really relax your arm a bit. So what it does is it lets you give more of a level surface. Because if you get too close, you start to lose sight of um, kind of just letting almost gravity help you spread the dirt. And you tend to work it a little bit too much. Also pivots as well. So you can work from either side. So it's actually a very simple tool. If you're a welder, you could easily make this tool on your own. I thought about it, but by the time I added up the cost of the metal and getting it, it was cheaper to just buy it. It's a nice tool to have. You almost always need to level dirt at some point, or even gravel. So we'll just water the spots in now. The other thing to note is that, like, right here, if you look at that spot, it's still low. That was probably five inches too low there. You can't build up dirt, not easily more than an inch maybe at the most and you got to be real careful so that you don't kill all the grass around it so when you do this you may have to do it a few times but that tool makes it really easy all right i hope this video was helpful it showed you something different if you did like it i appreciate it if you click like or thumbs up on the video and please also consider subscribing to my channel it costs you nothing and it really helps i think so i think baby did you like the rake oh <laughs> i go <laughs> I guess so.